Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on Aviation Code. Today's is the first episode of a new show called Aviation Daily. Welcome to the first episode. And um, the reason why I decided to create this new show is because if you know my Instagram, which you probably do, you know that um, for the last few weeks I've tried doing something called a daily recap, which is basically um, uh, showing on story, uh, 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 maybe a resume of everything that I posted on that day. So instead of doing it on story, I decided to do it on YouTube. So this video will comprise of everything that I deem is important and I think that it's newsworthy uh, from my Instagram account Aviation Code, which I highly do recommend you follow. Anyways, so this is uh, all yesterday's news. And hopefully I will be able to do this daily uh, or at least uh, four times a week. Anyways, um, the first Airbus A350-900 ultra long range, uh, it's now wearing uh, its final livery. Obviously the Singapore Airlines beautiful livery. Uh, this aircraft will be delivered sometime in the next coming months. The aircraft is currently uh, undergoing flight tests and then we can expect it to uh, have its uh, interior uh, retrofitted uh, as it has been previously mentioned this aircraft the ultra long range a350 will be used um, in the new singapore airlines route from singapore to newark um, the aircraft uh, which is, now this is a curiosity this aircraft will not have uh, economies class seats because they need uh, less payload to fly all the way to new york they will only be offering business class seats and premium economy seats. <clears throat> and more, we have a Karuda Indonesia flight from Amsterdam to Jakarta. The flight diverted to Ankara in Turkey, likely due to a medical emergency. And a few hours later, the aircraft departed Ankara to Jakarta in Indonesia. And some sad news coming from Delta. Uh, the airline has announced that its Seattle route will be cancelled on October 4th. The last Seattle outbound fl flight will depart the American city on October 2nd and it will arrive in Hong Kong on the 3rd. The last Hong Kong Seattle flight will depart 11 a.m. on October 4th. And there's more. Uh, Air New Zealand flight NZ281 from Singapore to Auckland returned to Singapore shortly after takeoff yesterday. Uh, the reason is still unknown, but considering that the aircraft turned back um, less than one hour into the flight, uh, it's very likely that it was a technical issue. And more, we have Gulf Air. Gulf Air yesterday started flying the Boeing 787 Dreamliner to London Heathrow. Uh, this aircraft is replacing the Airbus A330 in this specific route. And now Gulf Air flies to London Heathrow with the Boeing 787 in both its GF7 and GF3 flights. And also about um, Gulf Air, its second um, Boeing 787 Dreamliner operated its first commercial flight yesterday. And as I've mentioned, it was from Bahrain to London as GF3. We have more information. The first Cafe Pacific Airbus A350-1000 will be delivered to the aircraft on June 19th. The aircraft will depart to Luz on June 19th at 2 p.m. and will arrive in Hong Kong at 8 a.m. the next day. Now more diversions. Aer Lingus flight EI-118 from Washington to Dublin diverted to St. John's in Canada and due to a medical emergency and also a diver diversion over the Atlantic. Um, LL Israel Airlines flight LY8 from New York JFK to Tel Aviv diverted to Gander, possibly due to a medical emergency, but um, there's no confirmations. And now news from Spain, the first Airbus A350-900 for Iberia had a customer acceptance flight today. This means that delivery should be coming in the next weeks. And more Airbus A350. Uh, a, new, a brand new Airbus A350 was delivered to China Airlines today. The aircraft had the registration Bravo 18917. 
And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's, it's quite fun to do these videos and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Goodbye.